Friends, uh, I'm going to call the Watchtower up and uh, get their uh, version of blood fractions if I can because I want to get baptized and I want to know where these fractions really come from. So let's give it a try and see what whether they'll find out I'm apostate or what. Okay. Uh, good morning, Han. Uh, I, w I have a question I have to ask someone up there, and I'd like to know, could you answer it, or could I have to ask someone else to answer it for me? Uh, what is your police reference to? I can transfer you to the correct... A reference to getting baptized. Okay, let me transfer you to service department. Okay. Tell me which state you are calling from. What was that, Han? I'm calling from Delaware. Are you in an English congregation? English, yes. Language. Thank you. One moment, Yes, uh, I'm a senior citizen down here in Delaware, and I'm up there in age, and I'm, I'm trying to get baptized, and I'm in the process of getting baptized, uh, but I have a, one question that, that still bothers me, and I uh, it told the brothers I was going to make a call up in Brooklyn to find out for sure, because it's very important to me, because this is my last time that I will ever get anything baptized at my age. But I want to be sure of things. Uh -huh. Okay, and uh, it, it involves this here blood. Uh, I have read the booklets about this, and uh, I just can't seem to come to an answer. Uh, the question is, uh, the, uh, the brothers told me that you can't accept blood. I know that. But uh, they say you can accept fractions if, you, if your conscience will let you. But I could never get a direct answer. Where did the fractions come from? That was my question before I get baptized. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, of course, the Bible talks about blood. And the Bible talks in the book of Acts about abstaining from blood. Yes. Um, uh, and so, you, you know, the Bible is definite about that command. Yes, I. What is blood made up of? Blood is made up of water, other chemicals. Yes. Platelets and whatnot. So we can't definitively tell you about these products that man has now been able to separate the products. I mean, if you were able to take, uh, you know, something and, and, and separate it, an uh, egg or uh, what, I don't know what you might want to describe, but anything. Yeah, your question is, where does it come from? Yeah, I mean, it could come, it's a derivative product of blood. And so whether you accept that or not, our public... Well, I accept a that. matter of conscience. I accept that, uh, brother, but uh, what, what, what bothers me is uh, where, do they, where does the parts come from? The fractions, they call it. It doesn't bother my conscience to take fractions. It won't when I get baptized. But I just want to know whether they come from the brothers or some, somewhere else. I know we can't donate blood, so that would tell me that uh, it can't come from the brothers then, the blood, the blood fractions. Mm -hmm. This is what bothers me. Yeah, I think, I think another desk can probably help talk to you 
about that. I mean, I don't handle these incoming questions about what's printed. I try to help explain, but you're right. You know, so in other words, where does the... Yeah, they don't make it in the laboratory. We know that. They, they come from blood. Yeah, they come from blood. But... Uh, okay. so I'm going back to the original question. We are directed by what? We are guided by what? The right. Bible. Yes, by the Bible. The Bible just says the blood, and it's really their primary components, it's as if you're taking blood. Now, if you break up blood and you pull out water, scientifically, can you put that water into your body? Well, it's just water. Well, where did it come from? It came from the blood. Well, one person might say, I can't take this water into my body because it came from the blood. But then another person says, but it's just water. But then we come back to the principle, what does the Bible say? Blood. So we cannot be dogmatic and say you cannot take this product in your body because the Bible doesn't say that. Yeah, well, I, I, yeah what you're saying is, is okay. I accept all that. Uh, but I'm just coming back to, to, to what I, you know, that bothers me. I know we can't, in other words, can I, uh, donate some blood and get them fractions saved up for myself? Or can I? I don't know even if the medical professional would allow you to do that. You'd have to ask yeah. a doctor. Yeah, well, the, I don't know. well, the parts comes from somewhere. That is, that is my, uh, main question. Where does the parts come from? It don't come yeah, from a. Fractions. Yeah, it don't come from a laboratory. We know it. it's got to come from blood. Yep. So if it does, it come from the brothers, or does it come from uh, the 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 donated blood by by uh, the people of the world? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got to come from one or the other. Yeah. If, if they come from the brothers, well, I know they don't have it because they don't donate blood. But now I know the world does donate blood, but my question goes back to this here. Does them par uh, fractions come from the blood parts of the regular blood donations? I wouldn't know the answer to that. You wouldn't know? No. My <laughs> well, what am I to do then? I want to get baptized. Well, you see, if you looked at the Kingdom Ministry, the November 06 Kingdom Ministry, we are not doctors or elders and serve and brothers and sisters, and so we know what's unacceptable to Christians: whole blood, plasma, red cells, white cells, platelets. Uh -huh. Now, all of these other items that they come up with, the medical profession, the Bible doesn't go into that because we didn't have fractions in the first century. Yeah, well, I, I, I it you're just have to be, you're gonna have to be guided by your conscience as to what you will and will not accept, and I can't make that decision for you, and you can't make that decision for me. Yeah, well, I, I, you have to take in, excuse me, you have to take in the knowledge and then determine for yourself what you will do. Well, I, I, I'm going by my conscience. That's why I called here. My conscience. Okay, so what, what, what answer do you? What question do you want answered? I just want to know where does the fractions come from? Do they come from the regular blood what donations? Do you, well, I would do, since I don't know that answer, if I was in a situation and face a doctor and it says, as it says, in this article, when you're faced with a situation or advance, you need to talk to your doctor and get the medical. Yeah, but the, the doctors, where they come from. the doctors, uh, don't decide whether I take blood or not. It's the watchtower. That has these here rules and regulations. It's not the watchdog and the organization of Jehovah's Witnesses do not tell you whether to take blood or not. It is you. I, I'm, I, sir, I'm not talking about taking it's blood. Not, it's your personal decision. I'm not talking about not blood. Colors, it's not me. I'm talking about blood. Uh, I'm okay. talking about fractions. Is what the Bible says, and when you read the Bible and you read that, it's not the elders saying you don't take blood. I don't take blood. The Bible says that. Yeah, okay. Uh, it, I didn't buy it. Or words, I, I, I want to get baptized, and you're telling me you cannot answer me the question on, on that on that fractions, so that means I can't get baptized because it's bothering me. Go to, to a writing desk, and they can help you further, okay? Who? A writing desk. It's the brothers that work with us better. Uh, well, in other words, you, you can't answer my question then. Because we don't have the. Uh, my, my, what's your name 
again? John. John, John, you see, the point is, we can't answer that question for any of our brothers or sisters. We are, again, a guided just to recap our discussion thus far. We are guided by the Bible. Yeah, uh, I know that, blood. sir. I know that. We have st- but, so, so the blood, it says blood you can't put in your body. Yeah. Obviously, these large four parts of the blood, the plat- platelets, the white blood cells, red blood, that is so large part of blood, that is almost as if it's blood. So we're guided like, no, we wouldn't take that either. But now would you take these fractions that come from blood, that man has, they've taken blood, the medical laboratories, the, the whatnot, they have broken it down, they've divided its parts out, and now they say this part of the blood is water. Here's the water that's come out of the blood. Now it's up to you whether or not you want to take that water. Of course, foolishly, they won't give you water, but they'll give these other derivatives, these other pieces of the blood, to a person. Yeah. Now is it blood? The Bible says don't take blood. Well, is it blood? Technically, no. But then you're faced with the question, but it comes from blood. So some of our brothers and sisters will say, well, I can take it because it's no longer blood. Other people say, I can't take it because it comes from blood. You see, so we can't dogmatically tell you whether or not you can take it. In other words, I can't get baptized then because I always had it on my conscience. I only consume one thing. Well, let me ask you this question, John. If they come to you, let's look at this, 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 this chart again. And you see, you, you stand before Jehovah, and you're in, and you have to get uh, some care. And all of a sudden, they come to you, and they say, you know, we would like to give you this chemical compound, this piece of medicine. But you know what? The one portion of it, part of this medic medicine that we're going to deliver to your, to your intravenously, part of it comes from blood. Will you take it or not? Well, well you- if, if, as long as I know where the blood came from. And what they say, we don't know where it came from. It comes from a blood bank, and the chemical, and the compounds come from a blood, blood laboratory, and they broke it down. It's not blood, it's not none of uh-huh. parts, but it came from a laboratory, and now here it is. Can we administer well, it? Yeah, I can, uh-huh. Well, can you get fractions from, a, from a, a, a laboratory? Can you do that? No, you, it comes from blood. We've taken blood, which technically you say you poured it out into the ground, but so we've taken it and destroyed it, but actually we destroyed it by bringing yeah. it down to the various elements, and now we've taken out of it this from this cow blood. We've taken this part out, and now we would like to give it to you. Yeah, well, okay. The Bible, the Bible John, does not comment on that. It doesn't tell you whether you can or cannot do it, but based upon what you've learned in the Bible, you stand before Jehovah and saying, yes, I will take it, or no, I can't. And no man can determine what is right and wrong because Jehovah has not indicated right or wrong. Well, I, I, okay, I, I just had to put it this way then. Let me speak one second here. That uh, I believe in common sense also. Now, if if these blood particles particles does not come from uh, a, a a baptized brother, they would have to come from somebody in the world. That's my uh, point. Yeah. Or from an animal. You mean we can take al- animal blood? I mean, yeah, blood, those blood fractions could come from blood animals. Animals of blood, so it's still blood, but it's just part of that blood. Mm-hmm. Okay, I've read everything I could about this uh, transfusion and things like that, but it, these particles was never brought out till recently, and now I'm asking a simple question: Does it come from a donated blood? It probably does. I uh, for, say for sure. Okay, and and then the 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 brothers and sisters do not donate blood, so that tells me it has to come from somebody in the world then. That's common okay. sense. It has to. Okay, okay yeah. sir. Look. I, okay, I look. I appreciate you talking to me, but I'm had to put off my baptism till I get my answer, because I'm a little uh, afraid of, of what what this question can be answered. And I thought the watchtower could answer because they're the ones who hold this restriction and the Bible on the people, so they at least should have the answer. Where does the parts come from? Well, John, here, here's what I'm saying. This is what we're saying. The Bible says you can't commit.
commit fornication with a person who's not your wife, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, okay. The Bible says you can't have homosexuality with another person. Right? You're right, it does. The Bible says you can't uh, you can't uh, take blood into your body, either intravenous y yeah. or otherwise, right? Okay. Yeah. We understand all these all these major components of blood. Really, it's just as if you're taking blood. Yeah, but brother, what what bothers me is. Let me ask you this question, John. What makes up the medicines that you take? Do you take medicines? Yes, I do. Okay, so you take medication. Do you know what's in that medication? How do they come together? They, they got chem chemicals. They chemicals. Yeah. Chemicals. Okay. Now, what if I were to say to you, well, one of those chemicals in that pill that you take, uh, it comes from, uh, we always want to keep you informed, Mr. John, uh, that one of these chemicals actually is a derivative. Uh, we break down the blood cells and the blood of a, of a cow or a lamb or a calf or... And we inject that into this chemical, and we come out with this pill. Okay, but... Does the Bible... Now, now, let me yeah, finish, John, Brother John. Does the Bible indicate whether or not you can take these chemical compounds that derive from... No, no, it don't touch on nothing like that. Okay, there you go. So then how can anyone demand or restrict whether or not you take that medication? See, it's going to be your personal decision whether or not you take that medication. It's not going to be the elders, not going to be the doctor, not going to be this organization of Jehovah's Witnesses. It's you. Okay. You stand before Jehovah God whether or not you take that blood or that, that, that I'm sorry, that medication once you've been fully informed. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting down to the bare bones that don't let this be the hang-up for you not getting baptized. You made a decision in your mind. It sounds like you wouldn't take a blood fraction. So be it. Well, well, see what what the uh, uh, the 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 faithful slave have brought out. We can take blood particles if it don't bother our conscience, right? Yeah. In other words, you see, they are saying we are not going to go beyond what is written. We are not going to dictate what people do in this new new generation of medications and and helping people trying to survive. We are pointing out, though, keep in mind the medication you take. Is derived from blood. Yeah. Okay. I, Jehovah, then Jehovah didn't say yes or no. He said yes yeah. to fornication, yes or no to adultery, yes or no to blood. But now mankind has come up with all these medications, and the Bible doesn't say yes or no. Yeah. Well, we see, it's upon your conscience and your Bible trained knowledge, you say, "Well, this came from blood. I'm not going to take it." We well, see, brother. It, it would bother me to knock on someone's door. And, and knowing that uh, I do not accept blood from them, but I will take his blood parts. That bothers me. Well, and it is your, your decision. Yeah, okay. The faithful slave is so faithful, we are not going to go yes or no on it because it's not our position to make a call. We just go upon what the Bible says, and the Bible only comments on blood, not on medical procedures. Okay. It's up to you. Well, look, sir, I think... You, you've been guided by your blood, Bible-trained conscience. You say, well, I can't do this. Well, so be it. You can't do it. Well, I, I, thank, I thank you for your time and explaining all the things. But I'll just have to put off my uh, baptism because this bothers me of uh, where do these particles come from. And I only can assume that they come from people of the world. I would have to do that because the brothers... I'm a little lost. I'm a little lost. How does that affect your relationship with Job? It doesn't. Education and baptism says you give your whole life to Jehovah. And so you give it to him, but now you say, I don't have an answer clearly in mind, so I'm not going to have this relationship. It's kind of like a husband and a wife yeah. say, I want to marry you, and I want to marry you, but you know what? I don't know if your uncle smoked or not, or your grandfather mm -hmm. smoked or not, so you know what? I'm not going to marry you. I mean, I don't I don't see the connection, John. Well, I don't see it. Well, I just, I just, I just find it strange that you know all about blood and all this stuff, and you just can't answer me. Where do the particles come from? That I'm going to, I'm going to ask, if I have my operation, I'm going to ask the doctor, does he can give me blood parts? I want to ask him that. And he can give it to me. But I will even ask him, where does it come from? It comes from donated blood or from animals. Okay. That's all I wanted to know then, sir. All right. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. All right, brother. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Well, friends, there you go. 
You heard it right from the horse's mouth. He couldn't even give me an answer about these blood parts or where they come from. He told me they came from donated blood. Now, we all know that the uh, witnesses do not donate blood. So, it has to come from people of the world then. And like I told him, how can I knock on that person's door, condemning him at Armageddon, but two months ago I took his blood parts to save myself for a couple more years, but I'm condemning him at this door. But I took his blood parts, though. That's okay. See? He just wouldn't come out and say that it was from worldly people. He just said it comes from animal blood, or human blood. That's all he would say. Now, y'all heard it. You heard it right there. And I can't do no more than that. So, I hope uh, Kim and Mikey will get a hold of this one. All right, thank you, friends.